think it was here. Okay, waiting. Hey, how's it going? Over here! Glad you're here. I need your help cooking. What's on the menu? Jambalaya. Come on. You can stir the meat? Um, soy meat? Okay. Dunno. Maybe Joss would be more help. Joss did her bit. Just grab the damn spoon and start stirring. Is this an ancient ward family secret? Uh-huh. Onions, paprika, thyme. Just need to mince some celery and garlic. But you stir, please. Stir. <laughs> I'm stirring, I'm stirring. Bet my socks you've never had better jambalaya. Don't mean to spoil a nice day, but... I gotta ask, what about Peter Pan? You're asking if I killed him. We'll talk later, okay? Sure. No pressure. It's just I, uh... You know. I know. All right. Think you've stirred enough? Mind grabbing the rice from the kitchen? Yes, sir. No, Randy's always been that way. But I'm sure this didn't help none. You know, his father was a difficult man, too. Um, uh, where'll I find the rice? I'll call you back later. That... Tomatoes in next. Now you can toss in the rice. Rice is in. Okay, now this has to bubble and brew. Patio. Grab a chair. And a beer or something else. It's nice out here. Yeah. Seems all good. Like nothing bad ever happened. Tell me now about Harris. I paid him a visit at the hospital. He's still in a coma? Yep. In a strange slumber between life and death. An empty shell in a hospital bed. One shot to the head. Quick and clean. I had the same thought. It would be so easy. I pressed the gun to his head and remembered something. River? Oh, my parents died. Now, oh, I'm sure you want to hear this. 
What happened? Old man had a farm, like Harris's dad. But when business took a turn, well... My parents managed to open a small grocery. We lived on the floor above. A loud noise woke us one night. They wanted cash. Register was empty, so they stormed upstairs, forced us all to kneel, and demanded my dad tell him where he hid the money. Mostly, I remember my mom crying. My dad swore they'd found all we had. One was gassed out of his mind. He fired first. Blew half my dad's skull off. Jesus, River. I'm sorry. He was erratic. Went rabid. Handed me his gun and ordered me to aim it at my mom's head. I can still see her tear-filled eyes at the end of that barrel to this day. What did you do? Nothing. I stood frozen. Finally, he just snatched the gun back. Shot my mother and they left. Police never caught him. That was why I joined the force. I couldn't agree with scum like that roaming free. No one to hunt him. Can't tell you how sorry I am. So when I stood over Harris in that hospital bed, barrel to his brow, I was that kid again. But I was also the junkie who shot my parents. I understand. I've ended a few lives in my time, but never like that. Never an execution. Slipped out of the hospital quick. Told myself the case was closed. That's good. But what now? You're not going back to the PD. PI has a nice ring to it. Who knows? Uncle River, we'll you said you'd play with us. You promised. All right, all right. Let's go. Me? Join us? What are we gonna play, Uncle River? You'll see. wanted to try a game like this. Well, well. Nice firepower there. This is no time to get distracted. We can't let that filth get away. Who? Oh, well, look at you. V, allow me to introduce Captain Joan McLean and Lieutenant Henry Callahan. They're our precinct's best and brightest. Wouldn't want to get in their way. I always work alone. No exceptions. Even for you. Yeah, me too. All right, let's get to it. All right, all we gotta do is track down El Chamuco in Diablado and take out his lackeys along the way. He'll pay for his crimes. We we'll play like two teams, us and the kids, but we work toward the same objective. The team with the best result wins. You don't stand a chance. If he. Just go easy, okay? It's their favorite game. Sure. Oh, there he is! Get him! The city's mine! You'll never take her from me! <laughs> He's fast, but not fast enough to escape justice. <gasps> Watch out! It's Coonies! Next round, next 
drowning. This way. It must be their rat-infested hideouts. I could smell the moral decay from a mile off. Mm. Quiet. Too quiet. It's a trap! They were waiting for us! is ready. Was your game fun? Awesome! <laughs> we kicked their big butts! The bad guys? Huh? Oh, yeah, the bad guys, too. Time to see if this tastes as good as it smells. Unemployment's being good to you. You seem good. River's discovering the joys of family life. That and police duty. Never a good mix. This here's a way to get some of those years back. I haven't seen him this... untroubled in a while. What about you, V? You got a family? Or just relations? If the future allows it, no. I'd like to have one someday. If for no other reason than that I love get-togethers like this. Nothing's more important to me than my kids. I've made mistakes. Life's gone off the rails sometimes. But I had my kids. I got my kids. Joss, you see me being a parent ever? I mean, I don't exactly look like good palm material myself, so... Yeah! I do. <laughs> he raised his hand himself. <laughs> v, are you seeing someone? Involved? Fess up, please. Um, 
Well, that's decided. Got an 1199. Officer needs backup. Come on, pull you out of this ambush. Thanks, Joss. Yeah, thanks. Whew. Situation was getting dicey. That's what partners are for. You were about a hair's breadth away from having to look at photo albums. You're just getting out of doing the dishes. Admit it. Also true. Which gives us two reasons to go. Here we are. What are we looking at? A water tower. Great spot. Great for what? Having a drink? Shooting the shit. This way I... Oh, fuck. Gate stuck again. Gotta fix it one of these days. Let me give you a boost. Climb over, open it from the other side. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just push. Ugh. Okay. On our way. Area's not bad, actually. Unlikely to dazzle. Make a good first impression, though. Certainly no Corpo Plaza. No. But life's livable here. No worse places to raise kids. Randy's problems with the law. Those didn't pop out of thin air. True. But Randy takes after his old man. He'd find trouble in a nicer neighborhood, too. City between the Atlantic and the Pacific. But I sure do love this view. Find it calming. Views to die for. Great spot indeed. Told you. Got something for you. What's the occasion? Aiming to close a door. A stage of my life is done. This thing holds too many memories. Won't let me do that. It'll serve you better. Thank you. Just promise you won't blow your foot off. Oddly specific request. Josh's husband did it. Drunk. In this very spot. Which made this your special spot. Family landmark? Something of the kind. Now for the highlight of the evening. Up for a drink? Something strong sure to hit the spot. Now that I understand. Joss and the kids. Yeah, to family. Got any more of that? Two bottles of whiskey and a case of beer ought to be enough. <laughs> we'll see about that. Buckle your liver in. Gonna be a long night and a longer morning.
colonize in the moon, and there's still no cure for hangovers. Well, at least we had fun yesterday. Yeah. Oh, but now I gotta roll. I promise. No rush either. Get your sea legs back. Take as much time as you need. Apologize to Joss for me. We kind of dined and dashed yesterday. And left puke all over the bathroom? Oh, shit. Sure you're good to drive? <sighs> Please. Former NCPD? <clears throat> I'm a pro on Hangover Highway. I'll be fine. Tell Randy, hey. Will do. See you later, V. Morning. Not intruding, I hope. The generator. You remember, right? Oh, fuck. Need me to fix it now? Yeah, now. Then we go to the hospital. I'd rather have everything ready for when Randy gets back. What's up with the generator? I don't know, but electricity's out. And then his room needs tidying. I'm supposed to do that? Sounds, but this one time, please. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. Let's, um, change the subject. Thanks.
It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meeting here, so nobody will bother us. Um, bother us at doing what Wait, exactly? We're talking about the cornerstone you know of my platform. I'm not doing a U-turn just because night court. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. We've had a break-in. Not the usual kind, though. So, unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it, so I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Security looking at this? Say anything? This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? No clue yet. Anyone besides SSI come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Nightcorp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. 
So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. <laughs> Tide bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. This is where Jeff saw our intruder. And fired at him... Here. Right after walking out of the bedroom. At least that's how he remembers it. Bullet holes. Cocked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assume blood stains. Not quite scrubbed no, clean. Of course not. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. Scanner's showing something different. Wait, you mean here? Right here, it's closed. Previous owners left over, maybe? No. Open it. Somehow, please. Jesus Christ. I think we're safe putting maybe your security on top of our list of suspects. Wonder how long they've been keeping this from you. Too long. This Used ends minutes. now. I'm not letting any more of those freaks make a set foot. Oh, Talking to hell. yourself again. Something wrong? More and more. Don't worry about me. Ever do what since you have this to do. terrorist started stalking me.
broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Text practically prehistoric, but it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short-range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. Got a vision the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. What the hell is all this for, though? Fuck if I know, but my gut tells me we should see what this bad boy's hooked up to. See these cables? Bye, Johnny. Four. Connected to the wall-mounted screens. Wonder where else these cables run. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. Wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Could be. The tech they're using seems unconventional, though. Do you plan to check it? Yeah. About to pay them a personal visit. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. 
That's fine. Just remember, it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you. 
about we...